guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jen I want to share with you guys a review of a skincare product that I recently bought at Sephora now this is Clinique's pep start daily UV protector broad spectrum SPF 50 now this is I think it's just a sunscreen it's not a moisturizer with a built-in sunscreen or anything uh, it's just a sunscreen it doesn't say anything about moisturization so it's just a sunscreen now this i bought this for 19 dollars and 50 cents i think on sephora which i think i think it's a very it's a pretty good price for for a product that's being sold at sephora especially a full-size product this is not a sample this is a very compact um uh, product but it is a full size now the amount of product that you get is one fluid ounces 30 ml right now, let me show you the packaging this is a packaging now you open this up and you see a nozzle and you can squeeze the product out just squeeze a little bit now this is not exactly a white colored uh, sunscreen this is kind of a beige colored sunscreen when you and you massage it in the skin and this is the finish that you get yeah. now um, on to the performance of the product now this product is fragrance free and, um, and it's also ophthal ophthalmologist uh, tested and yeah the active ingredients are titanium dioxide 6.3% and zinc oxide 4%. Now this is a physical sunscreen which uh, thrills me because uh, it's, it's very hard to find a physical sunscreen which works for dark skin. Now if you didn't know the difference between physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreens, physical sunscreens usually contain the two, ma two active ingredients usually that are present in physical sunscreens are minerals they are like the ones I read out titanium dioxide and zinc oxide uh, now these two minerals what they do is when you apply a uh, physical sunscreen these minerals uh, like sit on top of your skin they're not absorbed or anything they just sit on top of your skin and when the sun rays try to penetrate into your skin and cause you that UV damage they don't allow that they just deflect it and block the sun rays which means that the sun rays just bounces off of your skin now that's not what happens when you use a chemical sunscreen a chemical sunscreen just absorbs the sun rays but transforms or changes them into heat right and then the body releases the heat from uh, the heat that's produced so uh, that's how chemical sunscreens work they both of them work completely different now I personally like physical sunscreen because these are perfect for all kinds of skin to, uh, skin types they are perfect for uh, overly sensitive skin sensitive skin if you have experienced breakouts or problems with whenever you you use sunscreens try physical sunscreens because these ingredients do not cause breakouts uh, they are very 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 good but on the downside it's very hard to find physical sunscreens that uh, that don't give you a white cast these two uh, minerals uh, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide they are naturally white hued uh, ingredients right so they give you a very solid white cast especially for a dark skin it's 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 just bad it looks very bad on people with darker skin so it's been a mission uh, to to find sunscreens physical sunscreens which do not leave a white cast on deeper uh, complexions now this is one such product I was very very surprised especially for the higher SPF the broad spectrum that is that this has it is an SPF 50 which usually higher the SPF uh, more stronger the white cast is but this does not like you like I said when you are on application and you massage it in the skin this is the finish that you get now I have to warn you once you apply this onto your skin when you look closely you can make out a very 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 slight white cast onto the face but when you apply say just apply any kind of uh, powder now I go with uh, Revlon nearly naked uh, powder in medium deep that's what I use just to give uh, like a, a semi matte finish and not look very uh, shiny right so I use that and the white cast uh, just vanishes it's just non-existent 
so um this is actually a pretty pretty good product guys but i i don't think this is a perfect product for people with um dry skin because it does not give you a very good luminosity or, or it, it it's 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 not like uh, moisturizing or anything so this gives like a semi matte finish so i'm not sure if this would suit people with dry or very dry skin so all in all uh, i uh, okay uh, before i finish uh, i do have a recommendation a physical sunscreen recommendation if you have an oily skin I'm sorry if you have a dry skin just just stick to the end of the video for that so all in all this is a great great product guys the price is right it's just $19.50 I love the packaging it's the packaging it's so compact and small and then I love the SPF the broad spectrum is on the higher side it's SPF 50 but yet it does not give any kind of white cast and i just absolutely love it and more than anything i just love the finish i think you can get away with even without using a powder because of the finish that it gives you see just gives a very very natural finish i just love it absolutely it's a two thumbs up from me you guys i suggest you really give this a try especially if you have a deeper skin tone this is a gem truly now like i said this probably may not uh, be perfect for people with uh, dry skin or, or, or very dry skin now an alternative an option that i have is this one the josie marin argan daily moisturizer spf 47 now this is not just an spf this is a moisturizer with an spf built in and also um the broad spectrum is SPF 47 47 and Sun Boost ATB now Sun Boost ATB is another way of saying that this moisturizer has a lot of antioxidants in it um, and also I have to mention this has some fragrance in it but not uh, a lot but you can definitely uh, smell it. it it does have like a fragrance to it I don't know how to describe it I don't know it's it's an odd scent but very mild let me just show you it's a pump just see how oily that is it gives you a very very uh, oily finish well oily seems like a negative word but uh, this is meant for dry and very dry skin which means that it gives you a lot of moisturization that's what i meant it's a lot, lot of moisturization now this is a very thick product now unlike this this is not as thick as this one now this is a very thick product but believe me when you massage it in the skin uh once you apply it you will notice white cast in various spots in your face but if you give you if, if you give it like a two minutes uh it the white cast kind of disappears once you massage it into your skin this uh, i'm i'm really impressed with this one as well i use this regularly when i go out because uh, it has moisturizer and it also has a lot of antioxidants in it now this is a jumbo bottle now this is four fluid ounces this is one fluid ounce and this costs 20 almost 20 dollars this is four fluid ounces and i paid 54 dollars for this now josie marin i think this one comes in say three different sizes i think a one ounce maybe two ounce and then it's a four ounce i'm, I'm not sure um now i'd suggest uh go for a four ounce because a four ounce bottle for 54 dollars is a very 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 good deal really the uh, it, this one has lasted me for over five months and 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 i'm not still uh, finished with this now this comes in a glass bottle and this is a plastic this is a glass bottle and it has a pump whereas this has a nozzle this has a nozzle in it i like both to be honest i think i might lean towards this uh but you know what I, th I think I might lean towards this because it has moisturizer built in it. Sorry, it's, it, this is a moisturizer with an SPF built in it and the SPF is 47. But this is just, a uh, you know, um, an SPF. So probably I might need 
I not I might I will need to use a moisturizer separately with this so yeah but this is a hidden gem you guys uh, for, for for especially for dark people and if you have uh, oily skin this is a gem now if you have a dry or very very dry skin go with this this is an amazing moisturizer with a lot of antioxidants and also very high broad spectrum SPF 47 so uh, that is my review of the Clinique's uh, SPF I think it's a great great product uh, I strongly recommend for people with darker skin tones please do give it a try so that's it I guess you guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this and please subscribe bye